What's up everybody, FSC Trucking. Got a new load, new video for you. Got Orwell right here behind me, you guys know the deal. Orwell's my 1984 Peterbilt 362 cab over. That's the real star of the show, not me. I'm just Steve Festjack, your humble host and driver. Now what are we doing over here? Well, we picked up this load right here. What is this? Well, this little snow removal piece of equipment, well, it pulls a trailer. It pulls a trailer with a broom and probably puts a plow on the front as well, it's like. So, it's one of those airport snow removal trucks. Check it out. So what am I doing? Well, I'm taking it to Columbus, Ohio. So we're gonna leave here, Chilton, Wisconsin. We're gonna stop by the yard real quick, drop off paperwork, pick up some paperwork, and then get on down the line towards Columbus. Plan is we deliver this tomorrow. Oh yeah, I got an appointment over there tomorrow. The reason is the trailer that this thing pulls is over there. So they want to use that tractor to pull the trailer off. That's the game plan. It's a little more complicated than just a trailer hydraulics and all kind of stuff involved they twist and turn they dog leg off to the side you see storm removal equipment similar to it but yeah there we are all right enough of me yapping really ain't much to talk about no more anyway let's get our GoPro set up and hit it all righty boys and girls we are all set ready to go hit that like and subscribe with vigor just like I hit that brake knob sunny day today. I checked the weather when I was home, like a high of uh, 38 it said, at least at home. Might be a little warmer down here, but nice and sunny. Start melting some snow. I am definitely not a fan of winter, so living in Wisconsin is not ideal. But nonetheless, this is where I uh, have made a home and Maybe one day I'll change it. I keep talking about that a lot. You guys are probably tired of hearing it. Um, I just have to get, uh, long story short, I gotta get my money right. I gotta get situations with, uh, well, it's hard to explain, but I wanna grow this to be bigger, make more money. And then uh, I don't wanna lease anymore as far as shops go. If I'm gonna move, what I really wanna do is, ahead and get myself a piece of property that I bought outright and then build on it. You know, and slowly over time, build my shop, 
and in uh, my house. Now, I don't need a big, huge crib. Honestly, I just want a good-sized dining room because I have children, and one day I'll have grandchildren. So I want a nice-sized dining room. But I don't need anything really big. Chevelle that's in my shop he bought he did exactly like that he bought the property then he built this house then he built his garage very big garage slash shop it's not big enough for trucks but big enough to get his, his car sprint cars race cars that kind of stuff in there uh, a lot of acreage too which would be perfect for me the only thing is I don't know if like if where his house is if you can get trucks in there and have like a small trucking company in there so that's kind of what I'm looking for, potentially. But I, I don't know. That's a goal. But I, right now I have to kind of work out from under what I'm dealing with right now. And I certainly went deep into debt when it came to buying the pickup truck, the Razor. You know, I, I just, you got to bear in mind, the, the father in me really wanted to spend a lot of time with his sons. Because I was divorced when they were small and full-time truck driving so I missed them a lot when they were younger and I enjoy their company and they enjoy mine as adults with now expensive toys so you got to pay to play and that's how we play Don't get me wrong, but it certainly takes away from the fun stuff. So I'm trying to work, rework my business a little bit in the trucking side to be able to, you know, make more money or be more productive with the money I do spend. I just don't like the idea that I can't afford to just do anything I want. I guess anybody can, I guess, but what we can but yeah I enjoy doing off-road stuff with the boys and they enjoy doing enjoy doing it with me we're going to keep that going as best as I know how
point, I'm just floating the idea out there, seeing, seeing what bites. It worked out good with Dave and Maggie, so who knows? Maybe lightning will strike three times. We shall find out. Looking forward to springtime. Longer days, brighter, warmer. Get rid of all this damn snow. to mention on this video mid-america truck show i will be there i'll be there all three days as of right now from what i understand i'll be doing a meet and greet with the green apu booth i don't know where that is you'll have to look it up find it um i need to text Dottie and get more information on that but as of right now uh, i'll be a thursday or a friday i should be bringing orwell orwell most likely be parked in a lot and i'll be uh basically using it to sleep hang out with everybody but yeah we're gonna do an official meet and greet with uh, green apu that'll be uh either thursday or friday the last i talked to them i wanted to at least get it mentioned with some early videos earlier in the month that way you guys can start making travel plans if you decide you want to come out to the mid-america truck show in louisville again i'll have orwell down there I don't know if I'll bring a load or if I'll just go down empty and bring a load back. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, pencil it in. You wanna do it, you wanna you wanna come see Orwell, meet me, shoot the bull, an American truck show. boat clubs, private land, and it's just not a great area to be as far as getting a boat in the water. You gotta go the other side. When I had my Lula craft, I used to put it in in uh, Menasha at the, the dock at the park. I've never had the big boat, the 27 footer in there. I think I wanna find a different launching area for the big boat. There isn't a channel to get from the, was it Lutz Park? I think it is, no, not Lutz Park. Whatever, whatever, wherever that free launch is by Menasha, there's no channel to get to the channel. So that boat drafts pretty deep. This big boat with a stern drive is completely submerged. So I think she needs like four or five feet. to the toys you see I want to get that running too so that's all money and time and it's getting on spring so I don't know about the boat this year my razor still at the dealer getting worked on Matt wants to come back to Wisconsin I still have his motorcycle so he wants to come back to Wisconsin like uh, maybe next month or two. Come up, get his bike, or I'll bring it down to him. Get back.
guy comes to visit, Sean's thinking about coming to visit. I have another pickup truck project that I started many years ago on the channel with Sean. That's in storage near my place. I know I'd really like to finish that truck for him, but I gotta get another word done on the Chevelle and the Mustang. I know I keep talking about that. I texted Dave earlier today. We were talking about getting some work done on my trailer. I haven't heard back from him yet, so I figure I'll hear here from later today. But maybe at the return of this trip, we'll take a couple days, get some work done on the trailer, and I can address some uh, shop work. Because the trailer stuff's kind of basic stuff. Then I want to order those diamond plate steel pieces and um, have them put in a, in a metal brake to bend them at 45. So that way Maggie can cut that stuff off and weld new diamond plates on. former hotel. I don't believe it's still a hotel. I know it's a restaurant because I've eaten in there before. It's called Big, Big Al Capone's of Pipe. And it's a great place to eat, have a beer. It's right here on the right, that white building. Big Al Capone's of Pipe. Great sandwiches and homemade pizza. Well, I'm originally from New Jersey, so I don't eat pizza in Wisconsin. I've never met a pizza in Wisconsin I like. But, they have a good sandwich in there. The reason why it's called Big Al Capone's is, I don't remember if it's Calumetville or Brother Town, but Al Capone's brother had a brothel in one of those two towns. 
and Al Capone would stay at that hotel back when it was called who knows what. Most people don't realize that a lot of Chicago gangsters of that era hung out up here in Wisconsin. Just like recreation, you know, like if you're from Jersey, you go to the Poconos, right? Well, up here, this is where all the wise guys from Chicago came. So, that's why that place is called Big Al's. And uh, I've been in there a few times. It's quite the place. If you live in the area, it'd be a great motorcycle ride. I've been there with the bikes a few times. second date 
I had with Jen because I took her to the battleship New Jersey. I went to Philadelphia, picked her up. So I picked up Matthew and went to my mother's house in Jersey. And then uh, mom watched that for the day while I jumped on the Goldwing and went out to Philadelphia and then picked Jen up, took her to the battleship New Jersey. That's uh, BB-62. Hung out and ran around on a bike for the day and dropped her off later that night and then went back home and spent a couple days with mom and dad and Matthew and then packed Matt up on the bike and came all the way to Wisconsin on the gold wing. And it got nailed in rain. I remember coming to Chicago. Rained like a big dog. We were in rain from Gary all the way to Milwaukee. And it wasn't just that misty rain either. It was straight putting it down. Matt didn't care. He loved every bit of it. could have made more money but I wanted to be with my sons now, I guess if you can do both you're really lucky or really skilled one or the other if you can have one I'll let the money aside and be with my boys that way to this day. That might have something to do why that rusty wheel is still on this truck that I really give a rat's ass about. I'd rather spend three times as much as what aluminum wheels would cost me to go to Glamis, California with both my sons and go play with the sand toys than put rims on this truck. Fact. Make for good YouTube revenue? Nope. I mean, I put the trip out there on FSC Speed Shop, my other YouTube channel that was originally this channel, then I changed its name. You don't see it, there it is. That's why that rusty wheel is still. Regular trooper or DOT here? That is DOT. He works this little stretch of 151. Especially when he, you'll see in a minute, it'll open up the four lanes instead of this two lane right here. And it's still 55 mile an hour. So, what he'll do, usually, is he'll catch his speed, and then he'll sink his speed hooks in you. I've never been hassled by him or anybody through here, but I know he works here. So I wasn't surprised when I seen him. In fact, that's why I figured, if I said what I said, is he DOP or not? More than likely he was. And that rollback, he's got a run DOT number, so he's in with it, winning that enforceable preview, or he can be messed with by DOT, just pull him over randomly. Whereas uh, a normal car that has to have a reason to stop you. Commercial truck with DOT numbers, they can just stop you and just check your crap. Yeah, as soon as you start using a vehicle for work, you lose your rights.
And there's another one right there under the bridge. Running radar, shooting people coming from his backside, and then running radar of those coming my direction. area they work and this is why they work it. I don't know if the unmarked there was DOT or not, but state trooper for sure. Usually the motor carrier, you know the DOT guys, the motor carrier enforcement they're really called. Um, usually they're in marked cars but Yard! 